Is Sonic supposed to be this good? I don't... I don't think it's supposed to be this good. This movie's awesome. Okay, that's a bit of an exaggeration. Movie's good. It's really good, especially for a video game movie. And I'm one to harp on video game movies very, very harshly because I care less about the source material of a movie rather than, you know, the writing and overall how good the actual film is. But no, this movie is a lot of fun, especially if you're a fan of like old school Sonic. This movie is greatly entertaining. If you're a fan of Sonic, I would say watch it. It's a lot of fun. If you're not a fan of Sonic, you're probably not going to enjoy it just to begin with because Sonic. Overall, I was greatly entertained by this film. There are a couple of like more subtle nods to the video games and whatnot. Like at one point when he's picking up the rings after he drops them. When he's picking up the rings, it actually makes the sound that the rings make in the game when they're collected. Which is a nice little nod. And it's just like subtle stuff like that. So it's like not super noticeable. Um, at least on the onset, at least I like... I only picked that up because I had heard of that there were a couple of easter eggs like that. All of the actors in this movie do a great job. Jim Carrey is a lot of fun as Robotnik. He's really, really weird, like, very eccentric. And that's kind of how I would imagine Robotnik to be. Like, just kind of a crazy guy who's insanely smart as well. But, like, Jim Carrey manages to play that up really, really well. He manages to, like, make Robotnik this kind of crazy guy while also... It's, it's really fun. It's really, really good. Uh, James Marsden, I actually thought, did a fantastic job in this film. Um, he is not my personal favorite actor. Um, I don't see him in a ton of stuff I have seen him in. Outside of the original three X-Men movies, I didn't particularly like him in. And that's just a taste thing with movies. But I thought he did a really, really, really good job in this movie. His character, the sheriff, had a really nice arc um, in terms of like what he wanted to do at the beginning versus realizing what he truly wanted. Uh, the person that voiced Sonic, they did a really, really good job. Um, I liked that a lot. I'm sorry I don't know your name. But yeah, no. Like I said earlier, this movie's a lot of fun. But it wouldn't have been if they hadn't changed the design of Sonic. The whole reason that this movie works as well as it does is because the internet kind of went no and the design got changed to what it is now going from this to this but if the design hadn't been changed this movie wouldn't be nearly as fun as it is a lot of it comes from how expressive sonic is and just like how animated and fluid the movement is and here's the thing i'm pretty sure they had to completely reanimate sonic from the original because it looks like a slightly smaller model um than what it is in the original the goofy nature of the more expressive uh, animation that they went with when they redid it works a lot better in this movie than the original would have worked i honestly didn't like that photo realistic attempt it's almost like they wanted to make it look like it could exist or like sonic could exist but they forgot that nothing like that exists in our world so it wouldn't i thought it was odd i personally didn't like the original design for sonic at all also another thing this movie is weirdly touching so like the way that the movie kind of begins spoiler for the very very beginning sonic is getting hunted down so he gets sent to Earth so that he can escape. The movie then picks up about 10 years later. So Sonic's been on Earth for a while. He understands how Earth like works and all that. But a lot of this movie has to do with Sonic basically being like, I don't want to be alone anymore. He wants to have a family, but he's so afraid of getting caught that like he th feels like he has to run away. So it's really, really touching um, that whole plot. There is a little part in the movie where he gets like mad at Marzen's character because Marsden's character is like yeah I'm go I want to do you know his arc and that upsets Sonic but that doesn't really go anywhere because he kind of there's never any other conversation to do with that specific plot and it kind of just resolves itself it felt really weird I, I I was not a huge fan of that specifically but that's beside the point overall I thought the movie was fun it's greatly entertaining and if you're a fan of sonic i would recommend going to watch this it's really entertaining and a lot of fun especially if you are a fan of sonic like i with that i would have to say that this movie for me rolls a 14. it's very entertaining there is some rewatch value 
maybe not the first movie that I'd go back to, and definitely something that I probably want to revisit at some point. It is highly, highly entertaining, as well as one of the better video game movies that I have ever seen. I'm gonna have to say it's within the top five. It's gonna be fair, that's not really that hard to do considering that like 90 5%, percent like 99% of video game movies are bad, but easily within my top five video game movies. And yeah, that's all that I have for now, guys. If you would like to follow me on either Twitter or Instagram, links are going to be in the description down below. If you like the content, subscribe if you feel so inclined and would like to keep up to date with all the videos that I put out on this channel. I really need to find a more concise way to end these videos. Uh, whatever. Anyway, I hope that you guys all have a great day, and as always, peace out.